Hello. Boom. Boom. Flick, are you happy in here? Happy. Happy. <laughs> Okay, go, Flisty. We just arrived. Hello. Are you ready to do camping for your first ever time? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's go then. So first we're going to go for a little cycle. And uh, where are we cycling to? Burley. Burley. Okay. And then we're going to come back, put up the tent. Hopefully it's nice and quiet here. Nice little spot I think we found. And then cook up some dinner. So we took our bikes off the back of the car, put the wheels on, let Flick have a little roam around, and we were pretty much ready to go. So just before I get any comments, <laughs> Flick isn't wearing a helmet, yes. We decided to just carry on anyway. We tried so many times to try and get her to wear a helmet. Um, we do cycle on back roads to nursery most days, and uh, she, she just still won't wear a helmet. This ride is mostly on off-road trails and really quiet roads. So we felt, especially with the roll cage on the trailer and the safety and the speeds that we're going, we felt it's okay. But ultimately it is a good idea to have your kids in helmets. However, fast forward a month, it's now May and she wears the helmet every day to nursery and absolutely loves it. And the first thing she says in the morning now is trailer and helmet. So a bit of perseverance and we got there in the end. Hazza found this really good website called Cycle Experience and it had plenty of route ideas for cycling in the New Forest. We found this one called Burley on your backside and as it was our first cycle tour using the Burley trailer it felt meant to be. This route should take us the whole afternoon and give us enough time to set up the camp before dark. Flick has only ever done about an hour and a half in the trailer before so we thought this one with a few breaks should be about right. It starts here in Brockenhurst where our campsite is and then it does a lovely loop through the countryside Burley halfway stop where we can have an ice cream and then we should get back in time. How are you finding cycling pregnant then, Hazza? It's okay. I'm a bit of bumping. <laughs> but okay so far. Massaging the bump you said with your legs. <laughs> Flick's just gone to sleep in the trailer. And Harriet just did a drive-by and put the sun shield down and hopefully she'll nod off for an hour or so now. Some parts of the route were pretty bumpy but on the whole it was mostly this lovely smooth compacted gravel. Really suited our touring bikes but I think it would be even better if you're on a mountain bike. Definitely not suitable for road bikes. Um, hybrid you'd probably get away with it. Part of the route took us onto these beautiful empty roads and we barely saw any cars. So we're more than halfway on our first day here in the New Forest and we just found a nice stretch of road, only a couple of cars here and there, but it's so much smoother, which is great because Flick's still having a nap. Uh, we absolutely love our Burley bike trailer, that little beauty, and Flick clearly does as well. Has it doing really well. 24, 25 weeks. How many weeks pregnant are you, Has? 25 weeks pregnant and coming on a cycle weekend and camping, which is probably the more difficult part. Yeah. Hey, Flicky. Doing okay in there? Good girlie. 
just had a good nap. Flick just had a lovely hour nap in the bike trailer and we haven't really seen it, anyone else on this trail. It's been really nice. This is beautiful. Fudge shop as well. Now I've got a fudge shop. <laughs> <There> she is! <laughs> he did so well. Good girly. Job. And go for a walk, stretch your legs. Oh, squat, squat, squat. <laughs> what have you got? Yeah, that's it. Well deserved. Um. <laughs> it's on your mouth, you had to lick your lips. <laughs> Flick's a toddler now, so she just wants to run everywhere. So being cooped up in the trailer for long periods of time isn't a great idea. She's just gonna lose her mind. So whenever we stopped, we do try to let her just run around a little bit, burn off some energy, and then hopefully, in theory, she should be okay to get back in the trailer, enjoy the rest of the ride. It's pretty tough sometimes, she, she might have a little cry or, or not want to get back in, but the major thing we've learned over the last sort of four or five months of her using the trailer is that you just need a little break, a little reset, distract her or something else, and then just hopefully she'll go back in the trailer. Having made up some miles by taking a little detour via some main roads, we then got onto the National Cycle Route 2. As you can see, it was very bumpy and flinty, again, a little bit more suitable for mountain bikes, but after about 100 meters or so, it then turned right onto this disused railway, and it was a lovely cycle path for miles. Did you eat all your snacks? Don't put your coat on. Oh, hi. Muddy. It's more muddy around your face with the crispies, isn't it? Did you get crisp around your face? <laughs> Flisty, we're going to go home and get some beans. I know. Baked beans. Do you want some baked beans? Look, we've, got, we've got to go home. Some beans? <gasps> and mash? Wait, the horse is coming back. Horse is coming back. <gasps> Quick, horse is coming. Where is it? It took about five minutes to convince Flick to get back into the trailer, reminding her that the baked beans were back at the camp, and we continued cycling through beautiful New Forest countryside all the way back to Brockenhurst, past more wild ponies, and through a ford into town where we smelt the most delicious curry. Oh, absolute demolish of monstrous Indian. But our sausage mashed beans will be delightful. We made it back to the campsite by about five o'clock, so it gave us a couple of hours to set up camp, make some dinner, and start Flick's bedtime. Yeah. My tides are actually burned out. Oh, I bet. It's been a while. What a fun afternoon. That was amazing. It smells good too. Yeah? Hello. Boo! <laughs> you did so well. Did you hop out? 
and down. Oh, and up. <laughs> All right. This is the same MSR tent that we had on our big London to Istanbul Euro Velo trip, and it still feels like new. We are so glad we invested in such a good quality tent, and especially as it is so quick and easy to just pop up. Anything that makes life quicker and easier when touring with a child is an absolute win. Flick, are you happy in here? Happy. Happy. <laughs> and you got a towel as well? Towel. Yeah. And mummy and daddy are going to make you some dinner. Yeah. We're going to have some beans and sausage and mashed potato. <gasps> um, 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 um. So it was a very successful first day, wasn't it, Felicity? Did you enjoy going in the trailer? Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah? That's so right. Yeah, exactly. And we went 30 kilometers, which doesn't sound long, but felt long. And you were really, really good, weren't you? You were really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's plan is we're gonna cycle south down towards the beach. And uh, it looks a bit cloudy tomorrow, but it should be really fun. We've only got, again, about 30 or 40 kilometers to do. Where's she going? Flick, where are you going? At uh home. -huh. Excuse me. Don't get muddy. Is that Mama? Hello. It's Mama. <laughs> She's all fresh, fresh and clean. Flick seemed to be loving life outdoors, but we still wanted to try and make sure she had a good sleep just so she'd be a bit better tomorrow. It's difficult because it's very light and it's quite noisy and it's a bit cold, but we tried to do the same routine. So we gave her a little sort of flannel wash and then we read a book and put Taylor Swift on. Cheers. So for breakfast we are going to be having the classic gourmet porridge. We've got porridge, mm, and we've got yum. peanut butter, and we've got sultanas, and we've got banana. And that'll keep us going. <laughs> So this is the inside of the Burley trailer and it's got slightly bowed out arms as you can see so she's got loads and loads of space, uh -oh. loads of leg room and lots of space for all your toys and it's got a nice couple of pockets each side as well to put bits and bobs, uh -oh. drinks and toys and then a really nice comfy seat that's reclinable uh -oh. and also really good three point like a car seat really so she can be nice and safe and clipped in and then around the back all the visibility stripes of course and we've got a big chunky off-road tires on at the moment and then here's the brake so can't go anywhere nice and easy and then in the boots as you can see haven't filled it up yet but loads and loads of space so in here at the moment I've got an extra chain I've got a drone I've got some toilet paper and we're gonna put in all of the day's food and bits and bobs that we're gonna need and yeah it just works really really well and a nice flag obviously to make sure everybody can see us coming this as well is a roll cage so when you're doing it as a stroller it just goes back like that and you can use it as a pram or you can push it forward like that and then it becomes a roll cage which is really clever uv windows as well flicks so you don't get sunburn can you see me hello <laughs> And then it's simply, when you want to do a stroller in the daytime, you just pop it down like that. And there you go. You ready? So day two of our cycle tour weekend, and we set off from the campsite south towards the coast. And this time we were going to do the full loop, so it's going to be a much longer day than yesterday. So we left early, making sure we have time to factor in a long lunch and some inevitable stops. Hello, Fluffy. 
We used to race up hills like this and we cycled to Istanbul, especially through the Balkans when we got refit. But now, I've got a trailer behind me and Harriet's 25 weeks pregnant. <laughs> a little bit more difficult. <laughs> It's just a whole body just leaning on a little mousey, so should be okay. Well, that's a good shot of the tom tom. Has. Yesterday, we're out on the big open heathlands and the big uh, pine trees. Looks like Christmas land. Um, absolutely beautiful, quite dusty almost, almost feels Mediterranean. And now we're in this beautiful old English woodland. Birds are singing, lots of flowers. Uh, a bit tight here. Just stopped at a lovely little gardens breakfast place. It doesn't open till 11. <laughs> and it's only 10 past 10, yeah. Wedding present from the Browns, thank you very much. And we're gonna have some snacks here, why not? Mmm. <laughs> 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 oh, they're really yummy. Oh, that's yummy. Is that nice? Nice? Oh, share. No. <laughs> <laughs> Done? Done. Done. We've just reached the first viewpoint of the sea! Or well, the channel between England and the Isle of Wight. By this stage, we still hadn't found a little coffee stop. So we really hoped that in Keyhaven, we'd find a lovely little beach cafe where we can maybe have a pasty and a, and a coffee. But there were no cafes or shops here whatsoever. We thought of everything for this camping trip and we basically put everything we own into our car but we forgot the flask. So we had a little sit down for a break and gave Flick some water and some snacks and we put the drone up to have a look around before we headed along the coastal path all the way to Lymington. It's just starting to rain. I said, Has, we don't need our waterproofs. Has packed hers anyway, I didn't. Never learn. We had no idea how long we'd be on this seawall for and the weather was coming in. It was getting really windy and it was getting quite wet as well and it was really quite bumpy. But we ploughed on through and we knew that, well we hoped that in Limington there will be a nice warm pub for lunch. This is where the quality of the Burley trailer really shone through. It's completely waterproof and with the added suspension it made it as comfortable as it possibly could be for Flick. Yeah, that again wet, quick, 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 shut your door. That's it. And we're just coming into Limington now, finally. That bit was long. But beautiful. Here we are going through the last bit of footpath and then we'll hopefully find a pub pretty quick. Found a pub here called the Mayflower. So we just got to the pub and yeah we Hello. had a little play around, had a little change, found a beer and we're so hungry. We reckon that is about 10k just on that little sea wall itself, really bumpy. Amazing though, absolutely amazing and we found Really, really epic fish and chips. And look what Flick's got. That's on the kids' menus. Cheesy, bakery, beany toast. Anyway, we're about halfway for the day and we're gonna refuel and then get going. Ugh. 
Flick really wasn't a happy bunny back in the trailer after lunch and we never liked to leave her crying. So after a few minutes where she clearly wasn't settling herself, we would stop somewhere quiet and have another reset. Even more reason we recommend not to ride too far in one day as we found we needed to stop a lot more than expected. It's worth mentioning that Flick getting agitated after 90 minutes sitting in the trailer isn't actually to do with the trailer as she is exactly the same in the car seat. Once Hazard had settled Flick fully, she still wasn't really raving about the idea of getting back in the trailer, so we resorted to giving her some bluey time on my phone. It is something that is nearly guaranteed to relax her, and we only bring it out in emergencies. I think we're about a mile and a half, two miles away, um, back into the centre of Brockenhurst. And we're just out on this really lovely big bridal way, but it's very slow going. And as you can tell from our panting, quite steep. Flick's happy, watching a bit of blue in the back. Um, we don't think we're bad parents by giving her a screen every now and then, perhaps in emergencies. But um, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. After a further quick stop to give Flick another episode, it was clear that she had had enough for the day, so we really tried to hammer out the last few Ooh. miles. She's telling us she's had enough. Flick just demanded to be out and wants to sit on the mum saddle. Flick, we're not going to go very far like that. <laughs> Are you ready? You're back in trailer? Yeah, it's only five more minutes. <laughs> What did we learn today? What did we learn, Felicity? <laughs> what did we learn, Flick? So many things, can't think of one yeah, to say. We learnt that you've got to be prepared for it to take all day, even though it's not that far in the whole scheme of things. Because you need good breaks, and you need to make the most of those breaks for her to make sure that she's happier in the next stage. What is it, Flick? What is it? Does it want some peanut butter? <laughs> so just packing up and I'm just going to disassemble the burly trailer to get it ready to put in the boot. I'm just going to show you how easy it is. So to start with, you just need to pull up this little hook, which is the safety hook to make sure it's always connected to the bike. And then you can just pull off the trailer, nice and simple, like that. There we go. And there's a little safety lock here. <laughs> and that just comes out. It gets a little bit stiff. That comes out there. <laughs> and then you've got to take the flag off. There's just another little button there. I'll take that off. And then basically you open up the back hatch and this is where you've got the seat and the seat can go back and forward. Although she normally just has it forward. And you've got all the luggage area. And you've got these two little hooks here. And if you pull one, pull one out, push one, push that out, and push it all forward and then collapse it. And then the uh, good thing to do is just to put the roll cage down again. Easy as that, and then we're gonna just take out the wheels. So there's a little push button in there. Push that. Could not be easier. Uh, so the second one. And there you go. And then that should fit, they say, in any saloon car. Probably not a Fiat 500 or any mini cars, but it should fit in most cars very simply. Like that. And there you go, there's a trailer. Easy as that. Can't recommend it highly enough. Mm -hmm.